What CyberKnife is, is actually a number of beams, anywhere from 50 to 300 individual beams that when they converge, they converge on the cancer and gives high doses of radiation there to the cancer, but very low doses to the surrounding neck structures. Radiation oncologists will look at the patient's records to determine whether they're a CyberKnife candidate. If they're a CyberKnife candidate, then the patient goes on to see a pulmonologist. What the pulmonologist is going to do is they're going to place little gold seeds near the cancer. CyberKnife uses those fiducial markers to see where the cancer is. After those markers are placed, we usually wait about a week, have the patient come back in for a chest x-ray just to verify that those markers are still there. After that, the patient goes through what's called a CT simulation and they get a CAT scan of the area we're going to treat, which is the chest, and we implant that CAT scan into our treatment computers. Those computers and our physicists and our dosimetrists and myself then come up with a plan. Once that plan is generated, the patient then comes in and goes to our CyberKnife treatment suite. The patient is then set up on a table by our therapist. The treatment lasts anywhere from 30 minutes to uh, an hour and a half for most patients. The beauty of CyberKnife is that it can track patients' breathing. The patient has the gold more seeds inside the lung, and then we also place LED lights across the patient's chest. Those LED lights pick up the external movement of the chest, and so the machine relates the external movements of the chest with the internal movements of the gold seeds. And as the tumor moves, the machine moves as well in synchrony, and so that it can treat the patient and be really precise with the treatment. The machine is actually attached to a robotic arm, and the robotic arm gives it infinite degrees of freedom, meaning it can move anywhere around a patient to treat the patient. Most CyberKnife treatments are done in five or less treatments, and a lot of them are actually done in single treatments. And so instead of having your conventional radiation, which is anywhere from three to nine weeks, a patient only gets a week or less of treatment. And for patients, it's really, really convenient.